The foundation of a house is a somewhat invisible and sometimes ignored component of a building. But good foundation design and construction will give a house integrity and strength and help it to withstand the forces of nature. Simply put, without foundations, a house will fall. Another invisible component, or rather presence, is the architect. The architect is the one who dreams up the design of the house and comes up with its detailed blueprint. Through the invisible art of the architect, the house arises with both strength and beauty. Similarly for us, without the solid foundation of Jesus, the rock of ages, we will not be able to withstand the shakings and testings from the trials of life. In this case, our houses may represent our beliefs, convictions, aspirations, and choices. It is of great comfort to know that we are not building our lives alone with our limited strength and knowledge. The invisible hand of Jesus, the Master Architect, guides and shapes us according to His dream and unique design for us. This is the second time that I, am, I had this brain tumour. Uh, in 2008, I, I discovered that I had a brain tumour um, and after that I went for an operation. Um, the doctor gave me the all clear. When I went back for the check, the doctors told me that uh, there was some abnormal thing that was showed up in the scan. So he advised me to go for further check. He told me that uh, it, it is a tumour. So he, he measured it and, and, and told me that it's a one point. Uh, 1.5 cm tumor, smaller than the previous one. The previous one was 3.3 by 4.5. I, I, I was stunned <laughs> um, because it's the second time that uh, I'll be going under the knife. The first time around the, the operation, because they took out a big chunk of the, the brain, uh, 3.3 3 by 4.5, um, it affected my speech. Uh, that's number one. It affected my right hand uh, and, and right leg because it's the left part of the brain. Um, it affected my movements. Um, the fine motor skills were, were lost. The gross motor skills were, were intact. I had to learn how to pick up the spoon and the fork again. Uh, I had to learn to sign my signature all over because I'm right-handed. I couldn't play the piano and that really broke my heart. <laughs> I, I love to play the piano, I love music and, and I, I love to worship the Lord with music and I couldn't play the piano to worship Him. So that was really heart-wrenching. Heart For me, I, I just sat at the piano and all five fingers just went down at one shot. I couldn't control it. Every, everything had to be relearned and it was a tedious process of two months to get, get me back to, to where I was before the operation. Um, and I had to go for speech therapy and, and I mean, it was a very tedious process. During that period of recovery, I, I just couldn't see the light, you know. And it, it's very painful to, to every day uh, go to the window and, 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 and just, just cry to the Lord, you know. And, and that was basically uh, how I felt about the surgery. The second time, I mean, I, I was really afraid, you know. As our lives, or houses, are in the process of being built, we are still subject to various testings of our foundations. But in the midst of all these shakings, we can trust that the Master Architect has a final design and blueprint for our lives. When I was out of the operation, um, my boss came and visit me and he discuss work with me on Sunday, the, the, next, the next day after discharge. So yeah, I mean that is the, the extent that I, I, I didn't even lose anything. So I mean, I didn't lose, lose any functionalities. So the second time was really got 
God's hand of protection was really upon me and also the, the operation was a resounding success. And it, the first operation, the doctor told me he took out about 90 plus percent of the tumour. The other 5% or 5 to 10%, he said it was too, too deep. But this time around, he managed to take out 100% of the tumour. So, I mean, that is, that is the, the way that the Lord has shown His mercy on, on my life. Having gone through what I've uh, been through, the Word of God is precious to me. It's, it, it really is my life and, and my source. Um, I wake up every day uh, looking forward to, to just having communion with Him. Um, true, you know, I am not 100% uh, there yet, but every morning I wake up and I, I tell the Lord, I say, thank God for, for another day. Thank God that I can uh, live another day and to know you better and and to to read your word and and to get into get into um, knowing you more and and doing more for you we may be works in process that look muddy ugly and not worth much but we can trust that in the hands of the master architect we will become a house that is sturdy and sure beautiful and also a shelter for all those who come into it <laughs> <laughs>